welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca. I have no idea what my hair is doing today, but we're just gonna roll with it. Welcome back to the third What I Eat in a Week in Quarantine. Now, the last two times I uploaded a What I Eat in a Week in Quarantine, it got demonetized. I think it's because of the word, the the quarantine word. I'm probably saying it too many times. It's probably gonna get demonetized again. So, um, I'm gonna like spell it weird in the in the title and we'll see what happens this time. Just a disclaimer, I take vitamins, I take my B12, I take my D3. I'm gonna try to start putting my face in the sun a little bit more so I can get some of that, you know, beautiful sunlight that's coming out, but it's hard to do in quarantine. I also sometimes take a digestive enzyme with my food just because my mom is obsessed with digestive enzymes and just like puts it in my hand and I just take it. My morning almost always starts with a cup of Bustelo coffee and silk vanilla soy creamer. That stuff is so good. That being said, I've been eating a lot more Arabic food lately because I'm home and I'm just like eating more of my mom's cooking. It's easier than making my own food, so... Uh, if you guys like anything in the video, I'll try to make a recipe and put it on my blog. Just like let me know. So yeah, that's it for intro, I guess. Without further ado, here's everything I ate this week. Good morning. I just woke up uh, and I wanted to eat breakfast before I started a very busy day. Uh, today's breakfast is very Arab and very not breakfasty, so let me show it to you. Okay, so this weird patty uh, is actually potato kibbe, so it's... Um, cracked wheat like it's been soaked mixed with potato and some spices it's very delicious and then this is the bully uh it's like parsley and tomatoes and instead of cracked wheat which is usually in it it's quinoa so we have some quinoa tabbouli and potato kimbe this is what I'm having for lunch. Um, before I heat it up, let me explain. On the left, we just have some rice cooked in veggie broth, nothing to explain there. Over here is some tofurkey, lightly seasoned chicken for protein reasons. And over here is a ratatouille that my mom made a couple days ago that I'm like adding the chicken to and then I'm serving it over rice. But because I'm lazy, I'm gonna like heat it up in one big blob. It is actually amazingly delicious. This is my first time having ratatouille and I was so surprised that just like vegetables and tomato sauce could be this good. I think you can tell why I wanted to show it to you before I heated it up because now it's just like one big red mushy mess. But oh my god, like 10 out of 10. Like I wish I could say this ratatouille recipe was my own, but my mom just found it online. I forgot what website she got it from, but I'll, I'll link it down below if you want to make it. So good. Like how how does just vegetables and tomato sauce and like herbs and stuff taste as good? I have zero clue. Mmm. Along with my meal, I'm also having a lacra. A lacra right here. And it's in the flavor hibiscus. I feel snacky, but I don't feel like making anything. So I'm just gonna have this chocolate brownie Kai's bar. It has little chocolate chips and walnuts in it, and it is delicious. For dinner, I had this zucchini chickpea curry with white rice. I made the sauce like with this pre-made sauce, kind of. I just like added a few spices and stuff. And then on the side, I just had some plain salt hippie snacks. For dessert, I had one of these harvest muffins my mom made with zucchini and carrots. It turned out okay, like they were fine. Hello, good morning. Uh, this morning I'm having like a weird sandwich for breakfast. I've had this tofurkey lightly seasoned chicken in my fridge for a really long time and I'm afraid it's gonna go bad. So uh, I wanted to find a way to use up most of it and I did in this sandwich, let me show it to you. So it's like most of a pita bread and then uh, my sauce is Dijon mustard and that orange stuff is like this spicy chipotle mayonnaise and then we have some lettuce we have some tomato, and then in there somewhere, we have our chicken. I know, it's like not a beautiful sandwich, um, but I'm assuming it's gonna taste good. I mean, all the ingredients sound good, so this is my breakfast. This is a sushi bowl that I was really excited to eat, but then I found out that all the avocados that I had, which was like four of them, were brown and disgusting and inedible. And at that point, I realized if I can't enjoy a sushi bowl with avocado, then why even bother to heat it up? So this is cold. Also, I normally would put kimchi with my sushi bowls, but this is sauerkraut because I don't have kimchi, and kimchi isn't worth risking my life for, so I didn't go outside for it. Um, but this is cabbage and carrots and cucumber, tofu, rice, 
tamari chakra. This is what I'm having for pre-workout. It's the Kai's, I think it's Kai's bar. I've been eating these for like a whole week at least, and I don't even know how to pronounce it, but uh, this is the almond butter chocolate sea salt bar, which I actually don't like as much as the brownie one, but I already ate all the brownie ones, so I had this one. My mom had made lentil soup the day before, so I blended it to make it super creamy. I heated it up and I served it with a side of regular salted hippies snacks, and my dogs were begging, so I couldn't help it, and I gave them half each. Uh, the first dog didn't really understand that I was trying to give her half, but then she eventually got the idea. I'm craving a burger. Nighttime burger. Let's take a look and see what I put inside. We have a garden patty. We have tomato, we have ketchup, some onions, some pickles, and some mustard. Bon appetit! Today I shot a video review, so I had uh, barbecue sticky ribs, some spring rolls, scallion pancakes, curry wontons, sesame green tea noodles, and miso soup, and boy was it a delicious and filling breakfast. As a pre-workout, I just snacked on some frozen fruit. I had more than this, I just forgot to record until I ate most of it. For dinner, my mom made what she likes to call bean burrito night. She just makes a lot of different toppings, makes some fava beans. I don't know why she does fava, but she just does. And so we all make our own burrito. I put avocado in mine, the fava beans that I mentioned earlier. I added some uh, romaine lettuce, some salsa, and some scallions. And then I wrapped that all up and it was very delicious. Later on as a snack, I had this naked blueberry muffin bar. It looked like this, kind of like a poo-poo, but it tasted good. I am hungry, so I heated up, well actually I didn't heat up, I kind of like doctored up some leftovers. I took some of the cold sesame noodles that I ate earlier in the day, I added some tofu for protein, I added some romaine for like, I don't know, freshness and crunch, and here it is. Ta-da! My second dinner, and I'm really looking forward to this. Good morning, I'm having the exact same thing for breakfast that I had yesterday for dinner because I am secretly, not so secretly, obsessed with peanut sauce, sesame sauce, tahini sauce, any sort of fatty sauce, and when you put it on noodles, mmm! Just like last night, I put some lettuce on the bottom and some tofu on top. It's lunchtime and I'm doing one of my favorite things ever, which is doctoring up leftovers. This plate honestly didn't need a lot of work. I just have the barbecue ribs from my video that I shot yesterday, some white rice from sushi bowls that I was making last week with some sesame seeds on top, and just some broccoli that I cooked in a little bit of olive oil with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and red pepper flakes. Bon appetit! For dessert, I was craving something sweet and crunchy, so I'm having some of these Drizzlicious S'mores rice cakes. They look like this, and they're just like rice cakes covered in chocolate. Here is my pre-workout. It's not as little as it looks. It's just a deep bowl. I have a banana that I chopped up, and then this granola is the Cliff Granola. It's the white chocolate macadamia um, flavor, and then I have some almond milk on top. So I'm eating these frozen grapes, and someone suggested that I put lime on my frozen grapes, and it is so, so good. It's kind of like sour candy. Final meal of the day, it is dinner time. I have some really creamy lentil soup here. I have the recipe on my blog if you wanna check it out. And I don't like the texture of lentils, so I blend it so it's so good and warm and filling. My mom used to serve toasted pita bread, but I'm having it with some hippies. You could dip it in and it's all like crunchy. Good morning, I'm at work and I have with me my breakfast, it is Dave's Killer Bread with some Kite Hill cream cheese. It's the everything flavor. Um, I, I normally get the scallion flavor, but my mom couldn't find it, so she got me the everything flavor, and it's actually really good. And I put some Persian cucumbers in it, all sliced. It's so crisp and refreshing and creamy, and Dave's Killer Bread keeps me full for so long. So this is my breakfast. Mmm. For lunch, I had this brown rice uh, garden meatless crumble and spinach. I just wanted to show it to you before I mix it all up in a pan. And here it is all heated up together. On the side for munching, I put some celery and some cucumber because I like to munchy crunch. I wanted pickles, but I couldn't find any, so this is what I'm having for lunch. Later on for a snack, I had this chocolate sea salt almond butter Kai's bar. 
This meal was so good. I had more of the barbecue ribs from the earlier video, but then on the side, I had a quinoa, kale, pine nut, and cranberry salad that my mom made. Ugh, 10 out of 10. All right, last meal of the day, and this is what a burger looks like when you're out of buns and all you have is a tortilla. We have a garden burger, tomato, pickles, lettuce, ketchup and mustard, all the usual stuff, except for I'm just gonna try to hold it together with a tortilla as I eat. I'm about to get on my uh, tutoring video call, but I'm gonna eat breakfast while tutoring, so I just wanna show it to you guys first. Here's my breakfast. Very similar to yesterday's breakfast, it's just Dave's Killer Bread with some everything cream cheese from Kite Hill and some fresh tomatoes. Hello, I'm having a basic ass snackity snack and that is an apple. Oops. This is basically the bowl version of the bean burritos that my mom made the other day. Instead of having a tortilla, I just placed it all on a bed of romaine. Dinner time or like a meal. I don't have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I think you guys know this by now, but it's dinner-ish time, I guess. We have some roasted rosemary potatoes. This is kusa, which is like um, squash insides cooked with olive oil and cumin, salt, and pepper, but like not. You guys know, I don't know if you guys know the zucchinis that look like light green. Okay, I'll put a photo right here. This kind of squash insides cooked in a frying pan or whatever. And then we have the bully, which is like a parsley salad with tomatoes and cracked wheat and green onions and lemon and olive oil and all that stuff. Middle Eastern food for dinner. Hello, good morning. It is breakfast time and I was lazy. I was going to make another like cream cheese and vegetable sandwich on uh, a Dave's Killer bread, but then I was like, no, let's spice things up a little bit. So let me show you what I cooked up. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, so we have tofu scramble. That's pretty basic. We have some avocado, you know, healthy fats. Um, we have some really nasty potatoes and peppers. This is from the Orelda, Orelda brand, whatever. Do not get them. They are not yummy. I just need to finish them. I thought maybe if I made them in the air fryer, they would be better than when I made them in a pan, but no, they're still nasty. And this, now this is a treat. This we only get to eat a couple times a year. This is za'atar salad. And if you're Arab or Middle Eastern or in that area, you might know what I'm talking about. But za'atar is like a plant that is similar to oregano. It's very strong, a little bit spicy. And we make a salad with it. It has some green onions, some lemon juice, salt, olive oil, stuff like that, very yummy. And this makes my very complete, very healthy looking breakfast that I'm very excited to eat. So the plan is, because the za'atar salad is so strongly seasoned, it'll make up for the fact that the potatoes taste like styrofoam, you know? So if we get a little scoop of everything together, wait, let me get a little piece of whew, avocado, then it should make a delightful bite. Mmm, that assumption was correct. Ha ho, beautiful, beautiful lunch. Today we have some bonza elbow pasta, some celery carrots and broccoli chopped up really tiny. The dressing is uh, Italian dressing, Dijon mustard, a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of nutritional yeast, very creamy, very tangy, fresh. I'm having a super lazy day today, so I didn't want to put a lot of effort into lunch. And this is what I came up with. I was craving something a little sweet afterwards, so I grabbed some of these almond bark thins um, for my dessert. All right, dinner time. Today we have a treat. Okay, so this brown mess right here is brown lentils and white rice. It's called mjadara and I loved it growing up. So I used to call it mjadara, but I'm just, anyway, I can't really describe how it tastes like, but it's like very rich and umami-ish and like comforting, I don't know, it's delicious. And there's like fried onions mixed up in there, whatever. And then I topped it with some plantain chips. On the side, we have a cucumber, tomato, onion salad, and some avocado to make it all creamy and delicious. Mmm, so good. Time for some late night snacking. My sweet tooth was uh, tingling, I don't know. Um, how does it call you? I got a banana with peanut butter and chocolate chips. These chocolate chips are from the brand Enjoy Life and they are the mini chocolate chips. 
So yeah. And that is all I have for today. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Hope you got some meal ideas. You know, check out the blog down below if you are looking for any of the recipes or the things that I'm eating. If there's anything missing from my blog, comment that meal specifically and I'll try to put it on my blog for you guys. Also, be kind with yourself if you're eating differently during quarantine, if you're eating less healthy, if you're eating weirder, if you're eating more. Um, this is a unique, weird situation we're all finding ourselves in and it's already hard enough without being hard on ourselves for uh, how we're eating so just try your best to nourish yourself and know that you will be back to your own routine in time you'll be back to regular grocery shopping in time and it will all blow over that is all I have for today like if you like subscribe if you want to subscribe if you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day I'll put my Instagram right here that is all I have for today I will talk to you next time goodbye Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Alan, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, the Planet Earth, Nicole, Juanita, Emily, Jenny, Marcia, Charles, Gemini, Curtis, Stacy, Janine, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Danny, and Vanessa. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.